Alright, it's February 10th, 2012. A little tour of the greenhouse. It's uh, cold today. It's about 30, 35 degrees outside. About 65 in here. like a jungle in here. This is a Trinidad scorpion plant that came up on its own down there. It's actually done really well. It's quite a few fresh ripe peppers on it right now. Well, this will have to be cut off because I need all of this uh, bench top space here to start some more plants. There's a fatale that I've been growing for this little well, this is the starting of its third season, and it's quite a few peppers on there. I need to pick those. This one is starting its second season here. It's a lot taller. This one has been cut back uh, several times. I've, I've lost track how many times I've chopped it down. And uh, I think as a result, the new growth, a lot of it is kind of small and miniaturized. A lot of the peppers are really small. And right now this one the peppers are more normal sized for the most part. I tend to get smaller peppers in the winter time in the greenhouse than I do in the summer. <clears throat> this is evidently the new hottest pepper in the world. Uh, it's a Trinidad Scorpion Maruga blend, and uh, they were definitely the hottest thing in my garden last year. Hottest thing I've ever eaten. Yeah. Quite a few green pots in those. Same way with these, the average size of the of the pods in the summertime is quite a bit bigger than that. I'm happy with these, middle of winter here. That's my rhomboidium. I don't know if I say that correctly or not. It needs some more direct sunlight, a little bit of a breeze. It's getting kind of leggy. I have to put a stake in there and it helps support it. Right here in this bed with this uh, Maruga blend, a bunch of just regular Trinidad scorpions. and uh, They aren't uh, really producing right now. They've got some little bitty green pods and things, but Not really doing much. Some tomatoes here. I heard the stem crack on this while I was looking at them this morning, so probably gonna lose a big part of this first one. Got some ripe ones down there. Cucumbers. Uh, I've been kind of expecting these things to fizzle out. Uh, Every time I pick them, I think, well, okay, that'll be the last of them. But they keep coming back. This is a monster here. I guess I'll just let that one go and see if I can get some seeds out of it. These are orange manzanos. There's actually, in this bed here, there's there's four plants. The two towards this closest edge here are orange manzanos that I took from cuttings. Um, and then, you can't really tell, they're growing together, but there's some red ricottos, one in each of the front corners there. Yeah, there. It takes a long time for them to get from green to ripe but that's still pretty excited about that. Let's see some another one way back in there. Can't find it in the camera but I can see it. Lots of 
flowers on them. I'll get another one growing back here in a deep water culture bucket. This is another orange Manzano. Peruvian golden. It's kind of the leaves on it are kind of fuzzy. Uh, didn't really get any production from it in the summer, so I'm hoping I at least get to try it eventually. Looks like I will. There's something growing here. I think that's a seven pot Jonah. Chocolate boot Jalokia growing here. These little bitty sweet pea currant tomatoes. I haven't tried those yet. Waiting for those. Should be getting the ripe one pretty soon. Got some pole beans growing in the corner there. I can't get to them to pick them, but there's been <laughs> way past. Should have been picked weeks ago. Just a mess back there. The red savina growing right here. Kind of a bonsai boot jalokia growing there. This is a seven pot primo. Which I've got. I've got a seven pot primo starting its second season. It's actually got some pods on it. There's a little green one. A little exaggerated tail or sting. <clears throat> it's a yellow seven pod. So I just got a poison that fell off of somebody else. I'm not sure what this is. It's a uh, mystery plant uh, some kind of scorpion or seven pod they are extremely hot it was gone for a few days and I built that flood and drain table there to kind of had somebody taking care of this while I was gone and I built that so they wouldn't have to spend much time water and everything. I guess it worked pretty good. Um, the reservoir is a 55 gallon drum. There's a pump in it. A timer right there. And uh, just, I just had it set once a day where it would come on for 15 minutes. Fill this big metal pan up with water. And, uh, and then the pump would shut off and it all drained back in the barrel. And uh, it seems to have worked. Bahamian goat pepper. Heard lots of good things about these. I'm anxious to try that. These are my tree collards. Really just, I'm wanting to get them outside, but it's still a little early. I've just got them in little one gallon pots. They've outgrown those a long time ago. But <clears throat> right, you get to see. This is the 
the flood and drain system. It's actually going through a, a, a run cycle right now. It's pumping water up through the bottom of each one of these beds. And uh, the overflow at the top, if the, if the bed gets too full of water, it'll run through this drain and keep it from overflowing. And, uh, when the pump shuts off, the water just drains back through the pump to empty all the beds. And that's how that works. Um, this other system here, it's all deep water culture buckets and they're just all connected to the same barrel. Pumping air, pump water all the time uh, through this hose. You see the black, the black hose is going to each bucket. It runs all the time. Drains back through this drain system. Here is the new world record, evidently. I don't know if it's official yet, but Trinidad Scorpion Maruga Blend. And like I said, on that, that plant over there, it, it is the hottest thing that I've ever grown. And, uh, these are again these are kind of small uh, which is normal for me in the winter time the pods just don't get as good There's quite a few green ones on here that's, that's a decent sized ripe one right there it's still not quite as large as they are in the summertime but I bet it's hot I actually bought, this is a, a tray of uh, broccoli and cauliflower starts. I was in South Texas yesterday and decided to get a head start, so I bought those down there. And, uh, this is some kale. Believe it or not, uh, these were planted from seed January 26th, which makes them two weeks and a day old from seed. It's just, I'm amazed I was gone for a few days and they were just, they didn't even have any true leaves. They were just the seed leaves. And I came back five days later and they're almost ready to eat. <laughs> amazed by that. <laughs> 